What a crazy week so far for MLB The Show 19 and MLB in real life. We've got the Milwaukee Brewers still in first place in the NL Central with 3-1. We've got the best launch ever for MLB The Show history, or at least it seems like it. And just all around a good time right now for baseball. And I can't wait to drop another video for you guys right here. But before we begin, make sure you guys leave a sub down below. Leave a like on this video. Let's try to shoot for 100 likes. And if you guys have tried this card that we are going to debut today, let me know what your thoughts are about this card in the comment section down below. But those of you guys that have been watching my video know that we have unlocked the Rich Gossage 95 overall diamond. And we're going to try to find out today and see if he feels like an endgame pitcher. Which I think he, he will be. You know, there's not going to be a lot of diamond cards out there that are 95 and plus. I think he's the third highest overall card in the market right now in, in the game that you can buy. So he's actually tied with Christy Mathewson at 95 overall. And just Cy Young, who is a 96 overall. So the third highest overall card. I'm pretty sure this card's probably going to stay in the very first page of the community market all year, depending on how much content they drop this year. But I'm guessing this is going to be an endgame diamond in someone's bullpen. It might be mine. We just don't know which other cards are coming. So, but we do have five diamonds on the team now, guys. We have Joe Carter over at left field, Ricky Henderson in center, Nelson Cruz in right field. Now we've got my creative player over at third base, just trying third base out with the creative player. It seems pretty easy to get your creative player up in in stats. So 75 overall silver right now. Carlos Correa at shortstop, Jonathan Scope. You guys saw his debut. You guys liked that Hidden Gems video, so he's going to stay on the team. Anthony Rizzo. Justin Verlander's our stop starting, starting pitcher, and Wilson Ramos, who's played really, really well for us. We're going to head into a ranked seasons game, currently 4-1. We should be 5-0. I say I should be because that L came from a blue screen when I was up 9-2 in the Ricky Henderson debut. But we are debuting our second diamond player today, Rich Gossage. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. We've got Jack Flaherty pitching against us, and we have James Paxton on the mound, St. John's. Thunder MTL 772 he does have the diamond Frank Thomas and it looks like that's the only diamond he has right now but a full gold team with a dangerous trade turner leading off for him let's get this dub let's go five and one and continue the hot streak in rank seasons right now Ricky Henderson amazing for me right now 444 average he does have one home run too and hopefully that just you know just I don't know I don't even know what to say we just got to continue to stay hot and not enough speed over there. I don't think he got a good jump off the bat, but we have Jonathan Scope up next. Still hot off the bat. Man, it's hard to see right now with that background. The lighting is really bad. I think we're going to have a good first few innings at the mound because we have James Paxton as a lefty, and that lighting over here is just going to be tough for him, I think. 2-1 to Jonathan scope a 3-1 he, he knows he knows this card is a beast he's he must have seen the debut on the on my channel as he walks him there we go hey good start to the game 4-1 count or a walk i don't know why i said 4-1 count and he continues to just throw balls anthony rizzo super hot for me right now too and he gets one through the gap that might score scope all the way from first base. Do we push it? I think we do. He just gets that out of his... Oh, no. No, bad idea. He just lost gas. Ah, first mistake for us right there. Horrible mistake. But creative player, Atrid YouTube, should be able to get him home. It should be 2-0 right now. What, am I th what was I thinking right there? A quick two outs for James Paxson, and he's already looking great out there. He has a tough hitter to face here in Frank Thomas. This is the first time we're seeing Frank Thomas this year. And hopefully we can just get through one, two, three inning with this card. I, I don't want to, I don't want to see a bomb. I don't want to see any extra base hits with Frank Thomas. God, that swing is just so good from Frank Thomas, man. I'm telling you. But I, I think that lighting, oh God. Yeah, I think that lighting is really messing him up right now. He's super late on a, on a 90 mile per hour cut fastball. So we're going to throw the fastball high and in. 97 that's coming in at. That's good change of speeds from the cutter to 
an actual fastball. And then we got that changeup. And it's just a one, two, three. Easy inning, guys. Easy inning. I just hope this guy doesn't take, you know, forever. Or I hope he doesn't quit. I just, just really hope he doesn't quit. We got to take it easy here. I want to be able to use Goose Gossage in this game. So if we blow this guy out, he might quit before the fifth inning. And we might not be able to see Goose Gossage. We might have to bring Goose Gossage in early, you know, and just play a bullpen game. As Joe Carter gets the ground out. That's all right. No. No. He quit. I, sh I should have asked him to play the whole game out. I should have told him he was going to be in a YouTube video. That is... Uh, I'm happy for the win, but we need to get Goose Gossage in there. So let's go try again. Whoa! Texas Bombers. West Texas Elite with a full diamond team already. Mike Trout. Yeah, this I'm losing this one. He's got an 89 Nolan Ryan. I'm, I'm just losing this one. But hopefully we can try Goose Gossage, even though if we're losing, we're losing, right? Whatever. I can't believe it. This dude definitely bought his team. Level 14 bronze. And has a full diamond already. Jeez, bro. I wish I had that much money. Nolan Ryan's fastball is just too nice. 100 miles per hour. A 3-1. To Anthony Rizzo. Trying to be as patient as possible, but... Okay. Dude, Anthony Rizzo has been so good for me. That's going to be an extra base hit. Oh, man. No chance on that ball. That's all right. We keep the inning going. Make him work a little bit more. It will be the 11th pitch of the at-bat. Nelson Cruz just needs to go clutch mode right now. Come on, dude. The 1-0, oh, 2 outs. Man at second. Nelly Cruz with a 2-0 -oh count. Hey, he can pitch as much as he want with him right now. I think that's what's wrong with... Oh, that should be a 3-0. I think that's what's bad about Nolan Ryan. Is that his control is a little weird. Alright, 2-2 two -two count. That was right down the middle. I don't know why we didn't swing at that one. It's alright, it's alright. Yo, base it through the gap, scores a run. There it is, 3-2. Green light. That might get down for a base hit. It's going to. Let's go, Nelson Cruz. Strike him out. Yes. Guys, just for the sake of this video, I think I'm going to bring in Goose Gossage pretty early in this game. Maybe the second inning. So, uh, let's actually warm him up. The 1-2 for a 1-2-3 inning. Yes. Another runner in scoring position. Wilson Ramos with one out. And we are going to score him. Wilson Ramos, one speed god. Looking like the Milwaukee Brewers out here, man. Looking like the Milwaukee Brewers out here. Bring it in. The man, the myth, the legend. 95 diamond, Goose Gossage. Oh, and he gives up a... <laughs> he gives up his, the first base hit of the game with the first pitch. Oh, no. Not a good sign. Get him off the team. Let's see that fastball. This is what we want to see right here. Right there, 101 mile per hour fastball. No chance for Mookie Betts. I think we may have to stay away from that slur for a little bit. Let's get some good swings on that pitch. Off speed. It's the off speed pitches, man. I don't think he can catch up to the fastballs. There it is. He's another one. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. Right down the middle. Ah! He's leading off. He's leading off. We're going to get him. Ew, look at that grass. Why is that not... That looks so bad. Oh, he pops it up. No chance on that fastball high and in right now. I love this year, this year's pitching mechanics, dude. That slurve is nasty, too. Such good movement. And that was right down the middle. Could not keep up with it. We're still looking for our first strikeout. This is what happens when, we, when, we're, when we're playing on All-Star for now. It's hard to get people out. And there it is. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get that. And we do. Control on this card is it, a little bit weird, too. Right but we get that striker right there. This guy's making it easy for us. But I can tell this Goose Gossage card at 95 Diamond is going to be on the team for a long time. Man, he's looking good. I just think having that, you know, 86 mile per hour slur and then 100 plus mile per hour fastball. Ooh, that should be a strikeout ump. But that combination alone, I think, is going to really have make players have a problem with him when he's on the mound. And his stamina, it's actually holding up pretty well here, too. So that's good. Can't catch up to that, dude. You cannot catch up to that. This is just a waste pitch. Let's see if he chases. 
and he does 98 on the gun so from what you guys have seen right now what do you think of the goose gossip so far if you don't have him if this is the first time seeing him let me know what you guys think so far in the comments down below for me it's it feels nice you know these are diamond hitters that he has on the team i know this guy probably may not be as good i don't know if this guy is just off his game today but it's still a full diamond team you know the pci is probably probably going to be a little bit bigger we are still playing on all-star so but i think once we get into like the hall of fame stuff the hall of fame games and whatnot i think goose gossage is going to be a lot better Look at this matchup. Goose Gossage versus the Diamond Mike Trout. And we just missed that pitch so badly. But so did he. Oh, man. I think he's guessing. He's guessing for pitches. Get there. There we go. Two outs. Goose Gossage. Three innings. Two and a two-third innings of work so far. And it's been very good. It's been very good. So let's get through this. 34 pitches. And still could probably go another full inning. His stand, no, no, his energy is starting to actually go down pretty quickly now, but hopefully we can get at least, you know, one more strikeout with him. I've been impressed so far. I've been impressed so far. But obviously, it's just his first game. That looks great right there. I think we can do one more. I think, yep, no, he made it easy. One pitch, one out. Goose might be able to do his fourth inning. Oh, and he quit. Goose Gossage makes him quit. Back to back. Quits from in rank seasons. I will take it. Plus 44, 342 now. This is good. This is good. We're on a good winning streak. We should be undefeated still. Give me a... Ooh, give me Joey Gallo. Give me... Jo Never mind. And Goose Gossage just looked good out there. 119 hits per nine. 119 Ks per nine. I wish I could see... Because I haven't gone up against this Rich Gossage just yet. I wish I could see... The perspective of that last person that we just played i want to know how big the pcis were with that diamond team that he had with like mike trout or something but that looks good we made him look silly there he was a he, he quit we were able to get our fifth win of the season should have been our sixth i'm still salty about that one blue screen loss but let's stay hot guys i'm, I'm excited for goose gossage for the rest of the season for me I think he'll be on my team for a long time. And I hope you guys get to unlock this card pretty soon too. So thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed and if you want more debuts just like this one, leave a sub and a like. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.